Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the colors of the object in different colored lights. But first of all we have to understand the color of the object in white light. Okay. So here we have the primary colors that are red, blue and green. So red color this is blue color this is green color this is yellow color this color is called cyan c y a n this color is called magenta so magenta is a color that is made by mixing red and blue cyan is a color that is made by mixing blue and green yellow is a color that is made by mixing red and green red blue and green are primary colors they cannot be made by mixing any other colors so these are primary colors and by adding to primary colors we get secondary colors so we have cyan yellow and magenta which are secondary colors because they are made up of two primary colors so magenta is a secondary color made up of two primary colors red and blue in the same way cyan made up of two primary colors blue and green and yellow is a <coughs> secondary color again made up of red and green there is also an another term called complementary color complementary color means one primary another secondary which together mix together to form white light so we can see here that magenta and green they combine together to form white light blue and yellow they also combine together to form white light so they are also complementary colors cyan and red are also complementary colors because they add up to form white light and if you add red blue and green so you get white light okay here we have different objects uh, here we have tomato now why actually tomato appears red it is because of the different pigments that are present in the objects so the pigments are the substances that really impart color to the objects and tomato is made up of a pigment called lycopene now lycopene is a is a pigment that that imparts red color to the tomato so the red color of the tomato is actually due to lycopene and this rose appears red because it contains pigment called chlorophyll you might be amazed to know that human urine appears yellow due to the pigment called urobilin so urobilin is a pigment that is present in our urine which imparts yellow color to the urine okay now let us understand what are the roles of pigments how do they uh, impart the color to the objects so pigments are particles which absorb selective colors and which reflect the other colors we will understand everything with the help of white light so let's talk about the tomato first suppose if i impart white light so rather white light is made up of red blue and green so i'm not going to write down white light i'm going to write down red blue and green now what happens is white light which is a mixture of red blue and green falls on the tomato and the lycopene pigments which are present in the tomato they absorb blue and green color so lycopene does not absorb red color so the red color is reflected and finally reaches our eye so red is the color which is not absorbed by the lycopene pigment and hence it absorbs blue and green and the red light which is not absorbed gets reflected to our eye so basically the color of the object is the reflected color or the color which is not absorbed or the light which reaches our eye that actually imparts the color of the object so when white light falls on the tomato it 
lycopene pigment it actually absorbs blue and green so it does not absorb red so red is reflected red reaches your eye so the tomato appears red to you so whatever reflected light comes to your eye that color is what do you what you observe let's continue our discussion and understand why this flower appears the rose flower which is green appears green so let us consider that we impart white light on it white light is again red blue and green now the chlorophyll pigments which are present in the flower they actually absorb red and blue color so the chlorophyll pigments they do not absorb green color so green color is reflected and it finally reaches our eye so the green color reaches our eye so we perceive the green color and we see the rose as green in the same way here if you impart white light that is red blue and green the pigments which are present in this blue rose they actually absorb red and green so the color which is not absorbed is blue so blue gets reflected and finally reaches your eye so you see the color of the object in white light as blue now we we will talk about all these afterwards because these are quite difficult for us to understand right and so let us understand that here we have a black seed this black seed appears black in white light because if you impart white light on it then white light is made up of red blue and green now what happens is the pigments which are present in this color i mean this object suppose this is a seed of some some plant which is black in color and this seed absorbs all the lights so no light is reflected nothing comes to your eye so you you see this as black over here you are shown a white rose now this appears white to you because when white light falls on it which is made up of red blue and green the pigments which are present in this white rose they do not absorb any color so what happens is all the light gets reflected nothing is absorbed red blue green so when it comes to your eye all these colors mix together and reach your eye so you see this as white so hopefully this video to tutorial was quite helpful to you now in the next part of the video we will understand why these colors uh, why the flowers are of these colors um, and secondary colors and we will also talk about the color of the objects in different colored lights here we had a general discussion in which we talked about the color of the objects in white light